Hello everybody, my name is Robertron and today uh, we're going to be installing Windows XP build 2442. Uh, this build leaked on the 18th of August, I think, uh, sometime around then. Uh, so we're going to set the boss date, February 17th, 2001, and we're going to reboot. And now I'm just going to go into the setup, um, Windows Whistler setup. Now you'll notice in the little in the little bar underneath the Windows Whistler setup text, it's actually text-based. Uh, that's not usually how it is, it's usually just a regular line, but I don't know why. Okay, so it is in this stage of setup. Now it is a square resolution, and it is displaying in Chinese, because this is a Chinese build. Enter, enter, F8, enter. Okay, there we go. Now it's gonna format the hard disk as NTFS. Now it's checking the C drive. And now it's going to copy set of files. I'll see you guys after that is done. Okay, so we're just gonna restart. I'm gonna press enter. And it is going to reboot now. And uh, we'll be seeing the boot screen here. Now, I really like this boot screen. I like how the colors fade in and out of the loading bar. I think that's really cool. And also the uh, the new Windows flag here. I think it's pretty cool. Now it's going to go into the setup. Um, now, the first thing you'll notice is that the flag here has been changed from whatever build was the last one, build 2433, I think. Um, the flag has been changed from that. It, it used to be the old Windows flag for, used from uh, 3.1 to Windows Me. And yeah, it's in uh, Chinese, Windows Whistler Personal Beta 2. I set the machine to Windows Whistler Professional. That's a problem. Well, I mean, it's not really. But anyway, um, yeah, I didn't know this was going to be a personal build. Personal is uh, basically home edition. And now you'll see the language bar has popped up here. I can actually do Shift F10 and then uh, Winver. There we go. There we go, we have the uh, About box here, Microsoft Codename Whistler, build 2442. Now, this was compiled on February 17th, 2001, copyright 1981 to 2001, Microsoft Corporation. Now, I'm just gonna exit out of here. Oh, there we go. I guess it's, I guess it's uh, installing drivers and stuff like that. Now everything in the language bars disappeared. Uh, yeah, you'll see this, uh, this other, uh, loading bar thing over here. If you move the lang- if you move the language bar. I'm just gonna move this up here to the top right. There we go. Um, I'll see you guys after the setup is done. So actually, now it is at this dialog box here. Next, I'm gonna put in my name. Oh yeah, I forgot this build needed a product key. Uh, you can just use the product key for build 2428, that works completely fine. I'm just gonna put it in real quick. Okay, so I've put in my product key, I'm going to click next. This is correct. And now, uh, it is back at the setup, and then I'll actually see you guys after the setup is done here. Okay, so it should bring up this error, just uh, click no. And now it is going to reboot the system, and setup is pretty much finished. Uh, there we go. And now if you saw that briefly, the starting windows box is actually text-based as well. And uh, it is back at this boot screen. Again, uh, I really like this boot screen, and fade it out. Now windows with their personal, I'm just going to click that, or yes. There we go, change the resolution. Now this is the please wait uh, screen. Now it has all the colors fully loaded in, that's pretty cool. And there we go, there was the startup sound. Oh, there's Merlin. Uh, okay. Oh, going to Whistler, okay. Uh, next. Uh, I'm just gonna try to connect to the internet. I don't know if it's going to. 
Uh, hopefully not. Okay, uh, I think this is... Okay, it's back. Um, let's skip. Uh, no, I don't want to activate Windows. It's the activate Windows box, I think. The buttons are kind of weird. No idea what this is, to be honest. Um, okay, well. I think that was the, is more than one user using this computer. Um, then I was going to stay here for a bit and notice there's no title.wma yet that's not in uh, this build and um, when you log in uh, you'll notice something immediately at the desktop um, if it's going to finish okay there we go I was at the login screen still uses Windows 2000 sounds. Um, there we go. You'll notice that the default wallpaper is not actually set to anything. It's just a solid blue. Um, I don't know why this is. Uh, I'm just gonna set the resolution up a bit. 1366 by 768 should be good. There we go. Uh, this here. Then put the language bar down here. There we go. Um, so yeah, we have two different help icons here. That's kind of funny. Then we have this readme, Microsoft Whistler, beta one release notes. Everything is aligned to the right. Um, then there's the comments box. It's in Chinese, uh, as I expected. Now first, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the system sounds. Now uh. The sound is kind of like broken. example of what is media player right here uh, in action but anyway <laughs> to fix the sound being all crackly and stuff you just run media player in the background uh, there we go oh it's utopia no I didn't want that is this Windows default Yeah. Uh, exit Windows doesn't have a sound link to it. No, it's not. It's not what I wanted. So this is Topia. Okay. I guess blip.wave is gone. No, nope, it isn't. It's just order group. I guess I don't have messenger? There is messenger. I have a said messenger service. Selected Microsoft Sam as the computer's default voice. Hey, Microsoft Sam. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't think you can switch the language to English. Uh, this is a beta of IE6, it seems like. Which still features the old Windows flag. This, when 
this product activation. Uh, Microsoft Codename Whistler. Well, uh, I don't. Want to open Internet Explorer? Okay. Um, now you'll notice um, applications in the taskbar uh, kind of look like they blend into the taskbar a little more. Uh, they switch this back later. Taskbar. The taskbar is unlocked by default, but the start button is kind of small. Uh, anyway. So yeah, this Windows Mini Player. Uh, the song that it automatically played was called Music.WMA. Uh, now, is there actually... No, it's just intro. Okay, yep. Um, now let's paint. Looks basically the same as the final. Um, Drawing stars. Okay, whatever, good enough. Uh, whis Whistler. Okay, whatever. Uh, this still has the old 2000 style warning and error icons and stuff. I've got just type gibberish and gibber gibberish. Yeah, it has the old icon. Uh, Browse, cancel, there's no pad. Uh, so the Google is supposed to never really for more too. Yep. Let's see what games there are. There's probably sound, so this media player. The page you're looking for is currently unavailable. I'm just gonna run this minimize. That actually fixes the sound being all broken and stuff in VMware. It's games, no, it isn't. There we go. That's the internet games, solitaire, spider solitaire, minesweeper, and pinball, 3D pinball, of course. It's the load. second uh great uh there's also msn explorer let's get started this will only take a couple of minutes this wasn't in the final that's for sure lad that's oh, logged on connecting with msn i mean i'm already connected to, to the internet i think i don't know i think i can go on google yeah, I can. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. But about Macamedia Flash Player Five, <laughs> uh, it was unable to link to the web page you requested. So yeah, the website doesn't exist anymore. Just exit this. Uh, it's Outlook Express. Outlook Express Six seems to be like a beta of it. Express 6, 6.0, 2442. Yep, uh, let's go to the taskbar settings. It still uses the Windows 9X uh, styled properties here. I guess I didn't install the video driver. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, all uh, the themes, there's this one, it's the exact same. It's Windows Classic. Well, Windows Classic doesn't exist. I mean, it does. 
Notice how the taskbar like fades in after I apply a theme. That's pretty cool. There's browsing themes here. Why is the taskbar so? No, why is the title bar so thick? Uh, then there's browse. Um, wonder what this is. It's a hub and support service. Yep. Uh, there's this one. Also, start applications in compatibility mode. Use this wizard to start and test applications in Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows NT 4.0, or Windows 2000 compatibility modes. Okay. There's the comments again. Uh, the taskbar. No, uh, the start menu looks not the best. Windows Movie Maker. So this is probably just pointed right from Windows Me. Um, that or it's Windows Media Player. Yep, yeah, uh, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, so they, this, yeah, so this is from Windows Me. Uh, make a new movie. Or the sample. Or the sample. The video is still there. It is. Yes, the same. Great video right here. <laughs> Best video. Is that the CD player application is gone? Uh, it's not in the OS anymore. Uh, Windows Explorer, Notepad, which we already checked out. Actually, I think that was WordPad, actually. Uh, Command Prompt is the best. I honestly have no clue what this is. It's like search everything. I just spoke. Probably gonna look stupid. Uh, there's whatever this is. This all items that you could synchronize and prepare for offline use, such as shared folders on another computer. Well, uh, yeah, that was WordPad. Notepad. Yep. Uh, notepad. Whistler. Uh, so yeah, it's basically. Everything there is to see in Windows Whistler build 2442. Uh, the, the reason why I'm calling this Windows XP build 2442 is there is actually a Windows XP reference in some file. I don't. I, I'm too lazy to check right now, but um, I'll probably insert it. So yeah, uh, that was basically everything to see in uh, build 2442. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for 1.3 thousand subscribers, uh, see you guys in the next video, and, uh, oh, that's a cool animation there, and, uh, goodbye.